Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Today is February 22nd, and it is the release date for the United States and Canada of the Sony PlayStation Vita. I don't know why I keep thinking about pronounced Vita because it looks like vitamin to me, um, but the actual name is Vita. Um, so here it is. I did pre order the first edition so I can get a week early, but and Sony changes the uh, the bundle option, then I decided to cancel it because for this one, um, as you can see, the big $55 value, it comes with an 8 gigabyte card. And the first edition that costs $50 or more, but you get a week early, is only a 4 gig card. I'm like, why would I pay more and get punished by Sony? I know I shouldn't buy this because same thing happened when I purchased the 3DS. I bought it for $249 and they dropped the price and I ended up getting 10 really old Nintendo games. Sure, those are classic, but you know, I'd rather save the money. So here's the box. Um, so this is the launch edition, which you will get the bonus content of the 8GB memory card, an AT&T data session card, which is 250 megabyte of download or uh, within 30 days, whichever comes first. Um, also a downloadable, downloadable game uh, with activation. So it's not really a free game. You have to activate it, basically pay the first month and then, you know, be able to get the game and then redeem the data uh, session card. So I did a whole rant on my uh, blog about why I canceled the first edition. I was really happy. I was glad to pay the $50. And then Sony changed the bundle. All right. Quartz tape on both sides as well. It's a very well taped box. And it's in the typical Sony packaging. Okay, so it opens up like this. Welcome to the world PlayStation, uh, connect by AT&T, unfortunately, uh, since you use a SIM card and um, unfortunately they choose AT&T, which I can't, you know, get away from them fast enough uh, with my iPhone, but, so a quick start guy, and then this is the system. Underneath, we have an AC adapter, a USB cable, memory card, and safety guy. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of the box. Safety guy. No, thank you. Um, here's the memory card. So, this is another Sony system. Of course, Sony can't wait to introduce another format. It's not like we have enough format out there. And they say, oh, what's another one? So, we're going to add another one. Um, let me grab an SD card so we can compare. So, here is a regular SD card. And this is Sony's. Um, sure, it's about a little bit less than half the size, but a micro SD. Eh, about the same and Sony charges outrageous price for this this one uh, retails for $29.99 I believe and the 32 gigabyte it's a hundred dollars a hundred dollars for 32 gigabyte can you believe that I mean micro SD 32 gigabyte I saw it fries for $14.99 so of course been Sony you know this is the only one that will fit into their system and if you want to play their games you have to do it forget about industry standards so this is the dumbest thing. Oh, good thing I didn't rip it because there's some legal safety information in here. Memory card. Great. Installation instruction. Don't need that. All that packaging for this. And I still might break it at the end. Okay, so here it is. 30 bucks right here. Boom. Put that aside. Okay. AT&T. Blah, blah. Okay, put my SD card. Bought a cool case with my SD card, because I have a lot of SD cards. 
left. Pelican case, by the way. Accessory. Here we go. Very expensive Sony stuff. Um, I was going to get a cradle until I read it's just a block of metal with the uh, power pass through. And it's not really like a Nintendo 3DS docking station. You can just live on top of it to charge it. There's actually basically a, the USB port comes out. And you have to stick onto it. They want $30 for that. Um, yeah. No thank you. No thank you. And uh, so this is the AR play car, similar to the 3DS. Um, augmented reality. Where's my AT&T card? Maybe it's in here. Protection plan. So you can buy their protection plan. Yep, so here's the detail. Um, glad I did some little research before I get into it. So you have to basically purchase the first month and the second month is on them and remember to uncheck the box or say do not auto renewal or else they'll keep on charging you so with doing this also get you the free game I think I don't see it okay better keep it just in case very expensive okay let's look at quick star guy so AR card let's open that later blah 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 Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Nothing really interesting. So here's the AR card, the huge. Um, at least they're the same size as the machine. Okay. Nope. Plastic packaging is not easy opening. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. Pretty flimsy. Does not come with a carrying case. And allow you to play AR games. Good. Now look at look at the cabling. So, of course, with proprietary memory comes proprietary connector. So you have to have all new accessory to work with it. So this is the power whatever on one end, the Vita connector I can call that, and this end is just a standard USB connection. Don't know why they don't do micro USB. That way I can use it all without an Android phone devices, but. Not Sony. Okay, you're not complaining about Sony proprietary stuff. So, the power core is basically three parts: um, an AC to USB power cord, and the cord itself. Extra power supply, I believe, is $19.99, $20. Uh, let's just assemble this. So, it's not compatible with PSP or anything. Okay. Now here is the actual device. Sorry for the delay. And by the way, I got the um, the game I bought with this is the Wipeout 2049. But I'm not gonna delay anymore. So here is the device. It's quite large. Um, so what I have here for comparison is the PSP 1000 right here on top. As you can see, it's a little bit wider and it's definitely it's about the same thickness, a little bit thinner, but it's definitely sort of taller in a, it's a big screen. I already got like dust on it. So just for size comparison, it's pretty hefty. Um, has no internal memory for storage. That's why you have to get the memory to play with any games so what's the point when it doesn't even come with any memory at all so uh, let's see nothing on the left side so you have the shoulder button on top you have the power button PS Vita and another slot so let's open it good thing I have long nails so I can be able to pop this open so anyway let me continue on the right side you have the four buttons two sort of the analog stick and directional pad, the PlayStation button, select and start. On the bottom you have the power cord and you have the SIM card slot for the 3G. PlayStation Vita car, 
accessory port, SIM card, and memory cards right here. Here we go. Memory card is in. And let's look at the SIM card. Okay, SIM card slot cover and and there is the SIM card right here. Uses the standard size SIM card, not the micro SIM, and I think it already pre-installed with an AT&T SIM card. Awesome. Okay, so this one has a five-inch OLED display um, with a front touchscreen and also back touchpad. Um, it's very, very easy to attract dust. Two analog stick um, makes it more similar to the PlayStation controller you used to. So here's the game I bought, is the Wipeout 2048. Um, so this is the case, and then there's the online pass activation code, so a lot of online play. So here's the game card. Um, I shouldn't put my way my SD card. So I'll just give you a size comparison. This is the PlayStation Vita car. This is the SD car. A little bit narrower, but the same length. And this is the 3DS car. Um, as you can see, the 3DS is the biggest. And then when you stack them, um, basically two of the PlayStation Vita cards still smaller than one. Nintendo 3DS car. So, put it away and let's install the game. There we go. Let's turn it on, see if there's power. Oh, power button's on top. Oh, actually, there's power. Just took a little while to hold down to. And clean the screen, it's very dusty. It says powering on, it says Sony Computer Entertainment. Oh, also this has two cameras, uh, one in the front right here above the touchpad, and then one in the rear for taking pictures and using AR games. So it's touchscreen. Turn up the volume a little bit. Sure, English. Sign up later to sign up a mobile broadband service. No, AT&T. Yes, I do. I'm gonna link to my PlayStation account. Mm, let me set my Wi-Fi. Touchscreen keyboard is much easier at input words and stuff. Um, so now I'll try to connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, system software update already. Okay, I'm stuck in a loop. I must update before I can sign in, but now I must... Okay, I'll just choose a random birthday. Okay, can I start, please? Battery's almost full. Installing something. So this is the home screen. Shows my game, Wipeout 2048, Remote Play, Content Manager, Browser Trophies, Welcome Pack. Alright, so here you have it. A little bit of an update, play some games. Uh, so here you have it the uh, PlayStation Vita, um, the 3G and Wi Fi model. Um, if there's any specific things you want me to test, um, please post in the comment section. If you have any question, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, so here it is, the unboxing video of um, the first boot of the PlayStation Vita. Thanks for watching.